So when the Hobbit project came up, it was a brilliant opportunity for us to get involved and to deal with some of the issues that actually sort of reflect day-to-day -day life inside and outside of school. So we began by this, at the st same starting point with all the groups. So we took the, uh, the story of The Hobbit and we took it and we physicalised it into lots of short snappy scenes so we broke down the story. And then we kind of looked at all the different themes and emotions and the things that run throughout the journey and then took those themes and applied it to our, our lives. So what was affecting those young people, what was their goblins, what was their uh, obstacles that they had to overcome. And then we came up with the five different themes in each school. Um, the first session we talked about The Hobbit and how all the sessions that we do would work up to the performance and the themes like a journey. So we have to pick um, different themes about journeys like a primary school's done growing up and other schools doing exam stress, we're doing discrimination. It's all about journeys that we're going through. Our performance is about time management, exam pressure, school pressure, quite a lot of different things to do with school really. It was like a journey and that was the type of the journey that yeah, we like, thought related to us the best. Like an exam journey, so from going from in class to revising, to finally doing your exams and getting your results. And it's about how we can make friends in all different ways and you don't have to always do it in one way. You can be kind, friendly, giving and that's all we've learnt so far. Um, I know that Natalie and Simon have said that there's going to be a red rucksack which is the journeyer. It's going to be the thing that's passed from one group to another to connect the performances that are taking place. And our boys in particular have taken the subject of bullying and, and really, really torn it apart and scrutinised it, if you will, so that they can actually make sure that they're dealing with the issues in a real sense, so that they are getting across the key themes that come from bullying. So they've looked at the four different aspects of bullying, um, emotional, cyber bullying, social bullying, and physical bullying. Learning how to deal with bullying and how to not just keep it in and actually tell someone before it gets really bad. So part of the part of the challenge today was to try and get the group used to uh, performing in different spaces. So we thought we'd shock the system and uh, bring them outside where there's loads, loads more space and loads more challenges. Uh, and they've done fantastically. It's a lot more visual and it's easy to understand, I guess because we're all like acting it out and I guess relate more because we're acting out. It's just given them a, um, a, a deeper understanding of discrimination because before a lot of them just thought that discrimination was just bullying but whereas it, just, it means such a, a wide range of issues that some of them hadn't thought that they had been discriminated against and they have, you know, with their age and their um, hair colour and it also, you know, different backgrounds. So it's sort of um, putting a personal touch on uh, experiences that they've had. I think working with the Year Nines has been really nice because um, in our performing arts class, it's just like 10 people. So working with them as well, it's been different. So I've learnt new things, learning with them. Are we ready to do this? The way Simon and Natalie have approached them and, and talked to them, they've, they've been really encouraging and even those reluctant ones are now looking forward to the performance. Before I did acting, I was really nervous about doing anything really. Well, at the start of it, I was like, am I, am I going to be able to do it? Because I, was, cause I used to have, like, I wasn't as confident like, on the stage, I like, performed near loads of people, but now I just feel really good about it. But by working in this different way, that their engagement's been increased. We've seen a lot of um, children that are more um, confident, particularly in terms of speaking and listening, and often that, that you know they showed what they'd got. And I'd seen them devising it um, in previous sessions, yeah. and I was moved to tears. It was just wonderful to see. But also aspirations for the future. I'm just seeing, you know working with actors, working in a different way, knowing that the Duke's theatre exists, you know, they'll be on stage. 
Um, so in terms of aspirations then it just opens up some doors for the future for them. I think it's an essential piece of, of education actually collaborating with people like the Dukes Theatre who actually offer a sort of connection with a working theatre if you will because some schools have fantastic drama departments and all the equipment that you need in the world but if you haven't got that connection with a big theatre company then you're sort of working in isolation and you're not actually measuring how well you can perform on a big stage in front of a large audience. There's a bigger um, world than just what they see in school and it's the opportunity to perform on a professional stage which is something that a lot of them never get the chance to do. Some of these young people have never even been in a theatre before, never mind performed on a stage. So to have that opportunity and to uh, have fun doing it, hopefully, is, is just incredible and we're really excited about it. We didn't want to do this at the start, but they brought us on and um, we're here today. Uh, when I stepped foot on the stage, I knew it was just going to be fun. Um, I felt really nervous at the beginning, but when we got into it, I felt really proud because of what we've achieved. Uh, astonished that it's really happened and it worked perfectly. From experience, you know that for a lot of these children, it would have been completely out of their comfort zones when they started this process. And I would guess that some of them would have found it quite difficult to engage at first because they would have felt so self-conscious and nervous in what they were doing. And watching them tonight on the stage, we're almost going through that with them, I think, because you, you know that's the journey they've been on. Everybody was listening to that story and you realised just how powerful that opportunity is for children to say what they think and to have somebody who validated what they think and gave them chance to show it to a bigger audience. And the absolute joy and you could feel it when they were all coming off, there was a euphoria. I'm not going to say it's like, it's like post performance euphoria, we've done it, everybody loved it. And then when you hear them tell their authentic stories, there's something very powerful about hearing things through the voice of a child. And it's about the confidence building for me, the self esteem, and how that not only impacts on performing arts, but on education and achievement generally because children who are more confident are going to take more risks and therefore push themselves so they can reach the full potential, whatever that might be.